Hey what's up guys Apple had launched its budget flagship phone iPhone SE in April 2020 and now it's available for a price tag of rupees 36000 for 64 GB variant 41000 for 128 GB variant and 51000 for 256 GB variant and it's much less in international markets like 29000 or 399 dollars in USA and if you are confused whether you should buy Oppo X50 Google Pixel 4a or iPhone SE then you should definitely watch the full video as this may help you to make the right choice in this video we will do an in depth review of iPhone SE see how does it feel after 6 months of usage we'll test out its gaming and camera performance mention its pros and cons and we'll finally suggest you whether it's worth buying iPhone SE after 6 months or not we have already uploaded its full comparison with the latest Apple flagship iPhone 12 Pro Max and there are some shocking results considering the price difference between them you can watch the video by clicking on the card on the top right corner so first let's check out what's good about iPhone SE this phone has been recently updated to iOS 14.1 and will most probably be updated till iOS 17 and since it's running on iOS 14 you can see the widgets and app library and iOS 14 has brought some really great features like picture in picture mode for YouTube and drop down call notification instead of full screen notifications and a whole lot of other features iOS 14 has been well optimized for new devices and you can see there is no delay in touching and opening of the apps i have used iPhone SE for 6 months now and this phone can handle any task like a breeze there's no lag or slow down only downside of this phone is that i'm getting just 7 to 8 hours of battery backup with full day wifi whatsapp facebook instagram and some youtube usage as it has a just 1821 mah battery which is quite low compared to today's standards this phone supports 18 watt fast charging and can charge from 0 to 50% in just 30 minutes but you have to purchase the 18 watt charger separately it also supports wireless charging although it has huge top and bottom bezels this phone looks premium with front and back glass body and aluminum frame on the right side is the lock button and sim card slot on the left side it has mute unmute switch and volume buttons at the bottom is the mic speaker grill and lightning port At the back it has a single camera with quad LED dual tone flash. At the front is the selfie camera and earpiece which also acts as a speaker as this phone has dual speakers. The phone is really comfortable to use due to the compact size and many people still prefer the old school design with touch ID over face ID. Social media apps like Snapchat and Instagram works flawlessly. The filters load quickly as they should on a flagship device. There isn't any lag or anything. Same goes with Instagram. Instagram works without any issue. There's no frame drop or lag. The scrolling and swiping looks buttery smooth. Talking about performance, it is a power pack performer in a compact size and can handle latest high-end games without any issue. iPhone SE is powered by Apple A13 Bionic chipset with an hexa-core processor and Apple 4-core GPU. It comes with three storage options: 64 GB, 128 GB, and 256 GB, all paired with 3 GB of RAM. Apple A13 Bionic is a high-end processor for gaming. You can play high-end games on this phone without any issue. There's no lag or frame drops, and the games run on highest graphics. Same goes with Free Fire. Free Fire works on ultra graphics with everything set to full. The graphics look stunning. The game runs smoothly. There's no stuttering or graphic loading issue of objects that are far away. This can be a perfect device for gamers who are tight on budget but want an ultimate gaming device. But the small screen may be an issue while gaming for some people. And if you are confused whether you should go for Google Pixel 4a, Vivo X50 or Oppo Reno 4 Pro as all of them are available at nearly same price point, then I would suggest you to go for iPhone SE as it has a better gaming processor. Now talking about the camera, iPhone SE has a single camera setup, a 12 megapixel f1.8 aperture camera with face detection autofocus and optical image stabilizer. There are some basic features in the stock camera app like time lapse, portrait mode with lighting effects, live photo, HDR, live filters, panorama and 240 fps slow motion video. You can shoot 4K videos up to 60 fps. At the front is a 7 megapixel f2.2 aperture selfie camera with face detection autofocus and gyro electronic image stabilizer which can shoot up to 1080p resolution videos. You also get live photo, live filters, portrait mode with lighting effects and time lapse in the front camera as well. So let's check out some camera samples. iPhone SE has a powerful camera and that's evident looking at the camera samples. The colors look saturated, there are loads of details and the daytime pictures on this device are just phenomenal. Portrait photos are decent and since it captures portrait mode with a single camera, there are some edge detection issues like it's seen in the photo on the left. HDR works without any issue. The details of the sky and the foreground are well maintained. 
Indoor shots in artificial lighting conditions are nice. The low light performance is good. The camera performs well in good lighting conditions. But since it doesn't have night mode, it struggles sometimes in very low light areas and the darker areas lose details. Selfie camera is decent. The selfies look good and the color tones are well maintained. For security, it comes with Touch ID fingerprint scanner which is quite fast and secure. iPhone SE has a 4.7 inch Retina IPS LCD display with 750 by 1334 resolution and 326 ppi density. The resolution is low by today's standards but since it's a small display, the video looks crisp, display is bright, colors are saturated and has a decent contrast ratio. The viewing angle is also decent by the way. So that was all about iPhone SE. It's a power pack beast in a compact size which you can use for high level gaming. It can easily do your daily task and has a decent battery backup as well. Please let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about iPhone SE. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. Also don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads. Also follow me on Instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz Facebook page. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, stay tuned.